We started the Chimera tour like right after that tour. With soil work and bleeding through. We couldn't believe that they would want to take us out on tour. I remember Jordan Mancino just like, Chimera? You want to take us on tour? Us? Mark, say what's up to the camp. What's up to the camp? Mark from Chimera. And I think the first thing we asked them was like, hi, I'm Clinton. Do we get tour laminates? We really want those, you know? And they're like, oh yeah, we got those for you. We're like, no way. And that was amazing. That was like the best tour we had done and the clubs were packed. That tour was such a huge thing for us and it got us a lot of cred as far as doing bigger tours. The crowd was very receptive to what we were doing and it was great. And we were still looking for a permanent guitar player. Mark was filling in for us and he was talking about this friend he had from Texas who might be a good match. Nick Hippa played for a band called Evelyn. <laughs> In that band broadened my horizons as far as the way I looked at music and just thinking. A lot of dissonant chords and crazy stuff, shredding going on the whole time. Spastic arrangements. And I, I would cite like Meshuggah and Dillinger Escape Plan as our biggest influences at that time. We were just like a slot for your version of both of those bands. <laughs> seen those shows before, just growing up in Texas and being around that whole scene. Evelyn was on Pluto Records, which was the record label that Asley Dying was on. We already had toured with him, knew him, knew he was like a really awesome dude and a good guitar player. So we were pretty confident that he could fill the part perfectly. During that Chimera tour, Nick came to one of the Texas shows. Jordan was like, what are you up to, you know? I told him that Evelyn had just broken up and that I was probably gonna start something or just looking for something. And he's like, yeah, like our guitar players just quit. And then they're like, this is Phil, like he's gonna play guitar for us too. It's really funny looking back on just like, Wow, that was the first time I met Nick. We asked him, like, hey, like, you want to play? And I was like, ah, I don't know, you know, maybe. Because he was going to school at the time, and he was almost finished. But anyways, somehow we convinced him. He was like, dude, we might go to Europe next year. And I was like, really? The idea of going to a foreign country to play music, you know, it was enough for me to be like, maybe I'll put school on hold. And so he gave me Frail Words Collapsed, which had just come out. And I remember listening to it and just being like, whoa, they got a lot better. Nick flew out at the end of the Chimera tour. Phil came over to Tim's house where I was staying and we just played the guitar parts together. I think it was literally like one practice before we played a show. 